ran across this document, and I just want to get it out there. Whether it's true or not, it sounds like it very well could be, especially with how hard um, this push is for the New World Order, the Great Reset, whatever people are calling it. Um, it's not confirmed at all that I've seen, but I have seen this going around, and a lot of it speaks to it very well could be true. Um, some of it are all of it. Um, so what I've read is, uh, and I'm going to just sort of read down the list here. Um, the unvaccinated are, are going to be starting in October, and I think the deadline's like October 31st for all this stuff to be through. We'll see. Um, the unvaccinated are ineligible for Social Security, SSI disability, uh, federal extended employment, unemployment assistance, uh, COVID rent assistance, and employment placement um, or training that they have going on. So if you're unva unvaccinated, you're ineligible. You're not able to get this stuff. That's just the start. So I'm just going to have a list, like I said. You are going to be assessed a special tax, um, roughly 15% of your total income um, if you're unvaccinated. And they say this is to cover um, what the federal medical costs are going to be that you're going to be causing but not being vaccinated. That's their type of wording, if this is directly from them. Um, the unvaccinated are no longer free to partake uh, of any interstate travel by vehicle on federal roadways. The unvaccinated are no longer free to travel by air, um, either domestically or internationally. Uh, TSA will enforce um, all ports of entry for all these things. And if you're unvaccinated, you can't prove vaccination, it's a no-go for you. Um, any employer that does not, uh, that does any business uh, with, um, with the federal government will be required to show 100% vaccinate vaccine compliance all across the board um, from the entire workplace by October 31st. Any business that cannot or will not comply with this um, will face substantial fines and uh, potential uh, revocation of any federal contracts. So they're going to take away any sort of federal contracts that that business entity may have had. Um, any employer sponsored health insurance uh, is free from uh, liability and can drop any un unvaccinated persons from their policies or deny coverage based upon their vac vaccination status. So any employer um, insurance plan, going over that, can drop it if you do not prove that you've been vaccinated. Uh, hospitals are given immunity, making them free um, to pri pri prioritize or deny health care based upon vaccine status. So this tells me, maybe some people read it differently, but this tells me that if you come in with this gunshot wound or a major car accident, you've been brought in, but who's already been sitting there are people that have a broken arm or some sort of respiratory problem, some sort of other rash, other things that have been in front of you. All those people have been able to prove they've been vaccinated. You come in, like I said, a major car accident, gunshot wound, something else horrendous. You are going to be put at the back of the line. They're going to say, well, no, we will attend to these people first because they, they've been vac vaccinated. They can prove their vaccine, their vaccination status, so they get priority. And the hospitals have the choice. They have the, the legal immunity to do that. So these are the, the six or seven that I just ran across in this little document. Real quick video, that's all I want to say. So as always, um, you know, hit the like, share, Subscribe if you like if you like this that is um, and then uh, always stay vigilant protect yourself protect your family protect your wealth and protect your health.